Hey, fishing people, fishermen, fisher of men. This is the 190 Fish Sport from Yamaha. I wanted to kind of do a walk around for you guys to show you guys it. It's an incredible craft. I love it. I love it. And it's really well put together. It has your storage facilities. Let's take a look on board and see what it looks like. I'll take you guys on board and give you guys a look around. The 1950 Fish Sport is a very affordable craft for those getting into the uh, sport of fishing and don't want to go crazy with price. Here's a little bit of um, warm up the summer event. So it's a 190 Fish Sport, like I said. It's a Yamaha package. Uh, boat comes fully equipped with total package and features and anemones and unmatched industry at all industrial costs. 1.8 liter precision um, Yamaha marine engine and uh, effective response handling. Here's the uh, swim platform, which is pretty cool. I'll show it to you in a second. And then here's your fishing features for your fishermen. Oversized uh, anchor lock, dedicated five gallon bucket storage, and plenty of side console storage means that there's always a spot for your fishing gear and a rated live well keeps bait fish and fresh with easy access sorry about that guys I'm kind of um, under the spotlight here but I wanted to show this to you guys and um, there's your platform here for a swim platform and I guess I am removing my footwear so two could comfortably three or four could comfortably seat back here a um, bunch of storage here of course and Lots of storage here for you guys. And yes, yes. I did one, uh, another review earlier. Uh, this one, let's get to the driver's seat of this. I like it a lot. Here you go, you got your in miles per hour, of course. And you got your RPMs here. You got all your light switches. There's no fancy L LCD, um, LCD um, panel here, which is okay. Uh, there's a lot of room to, to install gadgets here if you want to install a tablet here and get some of that software you could get for uh, software you could get free software online and apps and the boat itself is very well um, trimmed out really nice the seating is really well <clears throat> take a pack just a shot from here look at this guys really nice it's the uh, first day of the boat show, so it's nice and empty. Not a lot of people hanging out today, but you open this chest here, look at that. Get your hose, you got everything here you need. Your steps to go to the upper compartments. Upper compartments here are open just like so. Unless they are, yeah, they go. You fit a lot of, um, I don't know how many liters of storage this baby has, but it looks like it's got a lot. So if you're fishing and you're looking to get start, starting into sport fishing, this is definitely one of an affordable routes to take. That's where you put your rods. Very nice seating. I'll show you guys the seating here. It folds, of course. It folds forward. I like how it's high. All the seating is high on these things. And the dash is really well. You get your Jensen uh, Bluetooth radio here so you can play your MP3s. You got all your... Um, switches and get toggles and gadget your throttles over here like i said it doesn't have an led screen but you could put a nice tablet there technology and tablets are amazing right now you can just put a tablet with bluetooth and wi-fi you could pretty much set up all the new software that they have that's for free anyway you get on your local app store and yeah here you go man look at this guys this opens too but it's locked and you got additional seating here so if you got more people hanging out, you got additional seating. And the cooler, I'm trying to find where the cooler is on this thing. I guess it's back here. You got the extra cooler section. But yeah. Getting into fishing. Get a shot of it from here for you guys. Take a sweep around here. So I'm walking around the boat as if you would normally walk around. I'm trying to pan a view of like actually being on the boat. This is what you would look at when you're sitting behind the driver. And it's brand new, right out of the box, ready to go. I like how it has the access to hold your poles when you're, when you don't want to take apart your equipment and just want to have it uh, 
seated. Here's your tower. Tower is pretty cool. It's a Bimini, Bimini uh, convertible. We, we call them Biminis, but it's pretty nice. I like the setup. Very strong. These come off if you want to store your boat uh, in uh, storage or you want to put them in your garage. Some people have pretty big garages they could fit this in. I really like this... Uh, I call it a diving board. They have different names for them, but I wanted to show this to you guys. I really like the um, layout of the boat. Here's another shot of it from further back for you guys to see. I like the music in the background too, man. <laughs> Let me get out and I'll do a front view of it for you guys to see the whole thing. Let me know what you guys think about it. There's a lot of uh, boats along the same line here. I can show you guys. These are higher end uh, fishing boats to go up. This is the, the, the 212X right this is the uh f1 f 195 so these are a bit out of the price out of most people's price ranges and people don't want to go this is more of a sport boat this one's more sports slash fishing but this is uh your fisherman's best friend basically oh there's the cooler i was looking for the cooler there it is right right under the seat and marine speakers, your typical Marines Harbor Freight type speakers. Excellent storage in the boat. I'll give you a shot from the outside. And that's her, man. And that's all she wrote. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. It's the 190 Fish Sport. These are more sport boats over here. But I prefer something more for fishing let me know if you guys got one of these comment below let me know how you're how it's working out thanks